Welcome everyone, this is Zozo Stockwatch. Let's get ready for Friday, the 26th of May. And uh, just a reminder, don't forget that Monday the markets, the U.S. markets are closed uh, on May 29th for Memorial Day. Uh, so it's probably going to be a low volume day tomorrow again. Uh, coming out for your economic information for tomorrow is the GDP at 8.30, 10 a.m. consumer sentiment. 1 p.m. the Baker Hughes rig count, and that's on your um, economic information. Your futures for the overnight, the Dow futures are down 10. The uh, ES is down 2. NASDAQ futures flat currently. Um, it's still early in the evening. And uh, SPY made new all-time highs uh, today. And still in that grind up, pushing up Qs, the same pushing up higher. IWN, I'm sorry, IWM uh, being dragged along, but back over the 50 SMA, back over the 20 SMA. Uh, IWC, the micro caps, uh, still trying to get back over the 20 um, SMA here, red line that you see there. So that's your uh, markets. Um, some action in the after hours. And uh, we had Ulta had earnings that came out and the thing just blew away earnings. Whoops, what happened to my chart? Okay, and then after hours we had some earnings and uh, this is a five minute pre and post market chart that you're looking at. And uh, Ulta uh, beat earnings, so it popped flagging here. Uh, TGI came out with good earnings. It's up in the after hours. Uh, NTNX is up in the after hours uh deckers dect up in the after hours on their earnings uh cal uh is up in after hours clnt uh up a tad i uh, got a bid in after hours eght uh up in after hours uh, let's check out this web yeah this web uh up in after hours uh afsi up in after hours and idxg a uh, little bit of up in the uh, after hours so that's your after hours action so we'll go ahead and we'll get right into the uh, watch list for tomorrow some stocks that i have on watch for tomorrow uh, one is uh, bcrx and it had a you know big pop uh, today 27 million shares uh, cbli uh, is one that i'll be watching um, for this uh, probably break of 395 uh, possibly four dollar break on CBLI uh, CLNT another one that I'll have on watch basing here uh, had a high today of 440 closed at four so maybe if we can get back over you know 425 420 uh, maybe this will give a continuation uh, EBIO uh, had a little bit of a pop today so we'll see you know i'm seeing a lot of these stocks that have been just you know crushed they get this first candle here and you are getting follow through so keep your eye on ebio eght keep an eye on this one um it had earnings and it was up in the after hours so uh keep an eye on this one for possible you know continuation move uh etrm also looking for a move in this one maybe over uh, 525 on the name uh, and let's see LTBR looking for a break of this 180 spot LTBR uh, but very low volume but we'll see because uh, when you see stuff like SPI whoops SPI he can't type SPI uh, you know making big moves like this coming out of nowhere right so I'm looking at, you know, stocks looking lousy daily charts and looking for a push, you know, a lot of shenanigans going on in the markets. But this is a good kind of shenanigans, right, if you caught some of this. And uh, so, you know, keep an eye for any unusual volumes on your scanners tomorrow. Uh, NBEV is up here at the highs. Uh, there's really nothing in its way. So maybe if it takes out the high here of uh, 634, we might get a continuation move, uh, 1.3 million shares. NEOS uh, looking for a continuation move in the name and uh, we had a high here of 835 so looking maybe for that you know 836 837 um, to get this one going uh, NT, NTNX uh, is one that had earnings so it was up uh, after the bell it's trading about $20.22 so I'll look for a move 
Let me bring this over for you. I'm looking for a move, you know, some kind of pullback and then continuation move. NTNX. I mean, um, you know, with these earnings plays now, with this bull market going on, you're getting moves like this in uh, Best Buy, you know. And um, here's the five minute on uh, Best Buy. Actually, let me show you. Um, well, actually, that's good enough. Um, here's the move on Best Buy, you know, just nonstop up uh, 21%. So we'll see what NTNX um, if that can make a move tomorrow. And let's see, OPGN, another one of these, you know, it's been popped here, popped here, down, 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 starts to, uh, you know, perk up a little bit here. So we'll see if there's any type of continuation move in this name, uh, maybe over the high of uh, 80 cents, OPGN. And, um, you know, I know these look like terrible charts, and they are. But, uh, you know, if you like these under $1 names, you know, who knows what's going to happen tomorrow. That SPI and uh, the day before GLBS also uh, ran big. So, you know, keep your eye on some ugly charts. It looks like uh, SPU. Um, this is that soft drink and it can make uh, soft drinks uh, company beverages and it can make some big pops. It's starting to turn back up. Um, you know, not much volume in the name, but, you know, intraday it might pick up some volume if it can get back over uh, that uh, 280, 283 area on SPU. Let me open that up. So you see we're starting to get back over the fast moving averages here, the 13 EMA. So keep your eye on this one. And I know, like I said, some of these are real garbage, but, you know, you're getting these huge pops and stuff uh, like, like I just said. So that's why I have them on watch. Uh, SPWH looking for a continuation move. Uh, we had a high on the name of uh, 577. So, you know, maybe over 580 on this name. And uh, we can get up through that, you know, 595 to the $6 on SPWH. Nice looking chart. The moving averages are turned up. So, um, you know, it has some clearance up until the 200 uh, SMA. And this is the 150 uh, SMA. TXMD, uh, 4 million shares traded. Nice pop today. See if there's a continuation move in this one. And um, has a high of 434, so 436 might be enough to get this going. Um, it's poking its head above the uh, 13 EMA. We do have the 20 SMA right up there at $4.40, so just be aware of that. So that's going to be it for tonight. Um, tomorrow, I'm not expecting too much. Maybe some quick trades in the morning. And uh, then I would imagine everybody's going to get out of Dodge for the three-day weekend. And I hope you enjoy the three-day three -day weekend. And uh, thank you very much for subscribing. And if you like this video, please hit the like, uh, thumbs up, and also subscribe to the channel. That would be a great help. Thank you, everybody, for listening. You're now more ready for um, May 26th, Friday. Thanks for listening. This is Zozo Stockwatch.